guys, just Janice, and we're going to be playing with some inks and some texture and some stencils and <clears throat> just going to see what we can do with it. I've done this before. It's fun. I've used different types of texture, but the one I like best is the paper texture paste. Um, it get, dries really, really hard so that it doesn't, when you put the wet down the inks or the alcohol even, it doesn't reactivate. It doesn't muddy up or anything. So I have a couple of ideas on how I'm going to do some things. I have some stencils here and we'll see what we can do. I'm going to have fun. This is a, a Da Vinci Pro panel, the Ultra Smooth Gesso panels, 12 by 12, two inches thick. And whoa, you're throwing things. Um, so also I'm sure Dave, you heard just before me that Dave, Julie, and I are going to be going down to once a month with our premieres, the third Thursday. And my daughter, when she was about eight years old, I'm sure you guys have heard me tell this before, but it stuck with me. Um, I was sitting on the ottoman. I put my, heads in, my head in my hands, and I get, let out a sigh, and she walks up and pats me on the shoulder, and she says, Mom, you know, sometimes life just gets really lifey. And I just looked at her and I said, yeah, you know what? And we're going to get up and we're going to go on and we're going to roll with it. And we're even if we have to adjust. So that's what we're doing. Life is getting lifey right now. Summertime's coming up. And we just, premiere wise, we're just going to do the one Thursday a month. The third Thursday and starting in May on May 16th for our premieres, we have a guest artist. We're going to have Janet from Acrylic Creations by Jay Witty. And we're just going to play and have fun. And thank you for, I guess, tolerating us for doing this. But, I mean, we're, we're still going to put out videos. I know Dave puts out videos on other days. And I'm going to put out videos when I can. And it's just the premieres we're adjusting. So, we have a visitor from down below. We have Josie here visiting us right now. Okay, let's get this started. So really quick, <clears throat> I wanted to give you guys a small tip. What I do is, um, as soon as I'm done with these stencils, I lay them between paper towels because this stuff dries fast and it dries really hard so it's hard to get off. It's like permanent on the plastic. So I put them between paper towels and, oh well, these are baby wipes. I usually soak paper towels. And then I take them and I dunk them in a bucket that I have that's got a little bit of Dawn Power Wash in it. I take my brush and I brush them off and just like that they're clean. Okay, this is really dry. It's hard. I know I keep saying that word. Um, so, colors I'm using. I'm using Ranger's Eggplant, Ranger's Pebble, and I think I'm going to use this is the, is this the brass or the gold? This is the gold. This is the pinata gold. And this is 50% the pinata gold and 50% isopropyl alcohol, 91%. So, let's go.
Um, what I'm going to do now is on when I did it before on the test one, I took white gesso and highlighted the texture. But I think what I want to do on this one is I'm going to take, I think this is, what wait, 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 this is 220 um, sandpaper. I think I'm going to take it and I think I'm going to sand over. So I'm going to do like I've done on my cards before. Um, I'll take ink papers and I'll run them through an embossing folder and the anything that's raised I would sand and then the paper underneath comes through. Um, I tried really hard to make really wild lines unlike it's this one. On this one, I did, you know, try to make everything smooth. It's the same colors as this. But I tried to make some dramatic type of lines. Make it look like it's kind of going through, actually going through bricks or something like that. So, um, I'm going to get sanding and see what happens. Here we go. Okay, I'm done for now. <laughs> I know I'm always going to do something different. Um, the sanding worked. I wanted the sanding around the edges to make them look like they were bricks that were worn. Um, I did run into the a little bit, but I can fix that. Um, I'm glad I grabbed the, the wax, the Celestial. It's a little bit white. And I added just a little bit of the Firebird to make them look like they're like almost like bricks almost but I mean the texture's still there you can see the ink through it but <clears throat> I'm going to experiment more with this and go bigger um, I these two colors together the thing I like about eggplant <clears throat> excuse me is it's got a pink and a blue in it and it shows up and the pebble has got a little bit of a brown and a green in it and kind of a peachy color and you put these together and you get all kinds of different colors so I like the drama of it so this was fun it was different and stick around guys right after me is art by Julie E and she's got something really creative and fun and new for you so Go back and watch Dave from DRH Acrylic Creations and, oh, I scratched there too, dang it. Um, yeah, and we will be back May 16th. Thanks, guys. Bye.